You can be on my YouTube channel, Daddy. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna feature you. We're gonna do a video together. Whatever. Why not? <laughs> What's up, guys? It's time for another weekly vlog. It is currently Friday night. In exactly one week, I will be taking my renal final exam. So I will be recording the process of how a study week goes where it's just absolute hell, where you're just studying for hours on end for what seems like an eternity. So it's gonna be fun to look back on, not to actually do. So anyways, I am accompanied by my dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he decided to come and absolutely ruin my diet. He always buys Groupon, so we always eat out at these random restaurants. So, I'm going to enjoy my food. I haven't eaten all day waiting to eat this meal with him. So, I'm gonna go do that and I'll see you guys later. You got a life. Huh? You got a life. I know. <laughs> Huh? This is your camera. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to do it without it. Okay guys, because it's Saturday, I don't really study throughout the day. So all I did was sleep. I took the longest nap. Man, it was so good and refreshing. And at the end, I got up, and I went to the library and actually did a small study session. Studied for about three hours. It was short and sweet, it was really nice, and it really just got me prepared and mentally ready to tackle the week. And I'm so excited. Just going through some of the information tonight, everything felt really easy. I felt like I understood everything. Like there wasn't such a huge overload of information where I just don't feel like I can tackle it. None of that at all whatsoever. I feel like I'm in such a good and great position to really learn and master this material for the test. So I cannot wait to keep studying throughout the week because I know my confidence and competence levels are just going to keep increasing the more time I put into my studies. So I'm gonna make sure I sleep and then get up early tomorrow and just keep hitting it hard. I cannot wait and I'll be taking you guys throughout my journey and I'll lay out my handouts in a second just to show you the sheer mass of information that is this whole module just so you can have a grasp about how much information there really is to a class in medical school so yeah I'll keep you guys in the loop so I have laid out my handouts Okay, so there are about 30 lectures out there. I counted them up. I don't know how many pages it is, but the majority of those correspond to a one hour lecture. There's maybe one or two of them that corresponded to a two hour lecture, and those are more on the range to 10 to 15 page um, handouts. So some of them are pretty thick, but anyways, there is so much more information that I have to know that is just strictly on these sheets of paper behind me. There are countless histology slides that I need to go over several case conferences and practice problems that I still need to go through aside from just learning this information. So it is quite a lot, but it is good because it helps really weave all the information together into a nice cohesive picture. Looking at some of the diseases and some of the principles behind the effects of the disease make more sense now looking backwards, now that I understand all of the concepts and things. So it is actually quite refreshing going over all this information. So I learned this information extremely hard and I kill myself over the weekly quizzes which bear such a small amount of weight on your final grade. But the reason I do it is because now that I'm reviewing this information, I've already gone over it extremely thoroughly. So just reading over it refreshes it in my mind and I can answer any question about it and it just feels so fresh like I learned it and read it just yesterday. These 30 lectures is equivalent to the four weeks of material that we had for our renal module and this is nothing compared to first semester when we would have classes that were eight or nine weeks. It was absolutely ridiculous and it was such dense material. I'm amazed that I was able to actually learn all those things, so 
looking at this, this is not a challenge. This isn't anything that I know I'm not capable of. This is absolutely nothing in comparison. So, anyways, oh, I'm tired of kneeling down. My knees hurt, so I'm gonna get up, go to sleep now, and I'm actually curious to see how many pages this is, so throughout the week as I go through the handouts, I'll make sure to do a tally, and I'll include the total amount of pages here. All right, good night, you guys. Hey guys, so I just got back from doing some cardio. I make sure to do 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the evening, and while I do this, I make sure that I'm watching not Netflix or some TV shows. I make sure that I watch external resources that correlate and correspond to the material that we're supposed to be learning. I've been really trying to kick my weight loss into overdrive because summer is getting really close and I'm trying to shred off the last few pounds. My dad kind of ruined my progress this weekend by eating out, it made me gain a pound, it pissed me off, but whatever. I'm gonna pay penance on the elliptical and in my food, I'm gonna be eating less, so I'm gonna be miserable, not gonna be smiling a lot, but it is a sacrifice that is necessary and worth everything to me. So, yeah, I'm crazy like that. Hey, hitting up those studies now. Alright, so I just finished a solid three hours of studying and now I'm gonna go to the gym, hit some chest. It's one of my favorite workouts, so I'm gonna enjoy my time over there, my little break between studying. And then I'm just gonna come back and get right back to it. One of my main strategies with studying is to have breaks in between so I'm not just studying for huge long periods of time. So things that you have to do like exercising or eating, I'll intersperse that with studying in between. So it kind of fools me into thinking that I'm not studying so much to the point where it just starts spacing out and not absorbing any material. So, gonna go enjoy my break. Now I'm back from the gym. So I'm gonna eat really quick and I actually Printed out some more handouts. Oh shoot. <laughs> Turns out I wasn't done yet, so now I think that's 32. And I'll make sure to put that updated page count. But anyways, gonna eat, shower, get ready, and then I'm gonna head out to the library, and that's whenever I do my main bulk of my studying. Another strategy of mine is to stay as far away from my bed. Because if I'm here in my apartment, I'm on my bed taking two hour naps on social media, YouTube, watching TV shows, just bad, bad, unproductive things. So that's why being at the library and just being in that atmosphere of learning with other people who are studying hard just makes me want to perform and gives me just that right amount of stress to actually stick to my studies and be extremely productive and I feel so great at the end. So gonna head over there real quick. Okay, so I just collected a whole bunch of lectures that I wanna go over. Essentially, I'm gonna go over everything except for week three, but I'm gonna go over the week three histology and the neoplasia stuff. So, my goal is by tomorrow to be finished with all the weeks, go over everything and be absolutely ready for the test by the end of Monday night. And then the rest of the days, I can just practice getting really fast and being fluent with doing problems and thinking out things because I know if I have enough time, I can think through a lot of these problems, but I don't think I'll be afforded that luxury on the exam. So I wanna make sure that everything is just muscle memory, is just a knee reflex. So I just wanna be able to think hyperaldosteronism, metabolic alkalosis, and hypokalemia, just fast, 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 not have to think about the shifts of ions and everything, so that is the goal. I need to become super fast and proficient with this material and just smash it out of the park. So, let's go. 
I'm gonna vlog this week. Oh, nice, nice. It's gonna be boring. It's gonna be everything's the same thing. Just study every day. Be here in the library with, with you and Alex, dude. <laughs> Are you getting followers? Yeah, dude. I hit 500 today. Oh, shit. Yeah. Congrats, uh, dude. Thanks. That's awesome. So sexy. <laughs> it's very not single anymore. <laughs> Alright, so I just got back from the library. I was there from 3.30 to 11.30. So solid eight hours over there. Man, I have not done a study session that long. That is absolutely ridiculous. I literally sat in the same room for that long. And I don't know. The material just took me much longer to go through than I expected. And I don't know, it kind of, kind of had an effect on my confidence because I really wanted to go over everything by the review tomorrow morning and that's no longer going to be possible unless I stayed up all night and definitely not gonna do that again. So, I don't know, it's just, I hate all the histology slides, there's so much and I know they're gonna ask so little from it. But, I mean, I'm super anal, so I'm gonna go through everything and make sure I know everything, so it's, it's just annoying. And uh, I, I don't know if I know the, the diseases of nephritic, nephritic to the exact detail that they want us to know because they want us to know so many risk factors and so many secondary causes due to several different things. It's just ridiculous and I don't know what to focus my efforts on. I'm going to be more organized in my approach and just hit one week at a time, go through all the handouts of that week, then go through all the slides and cases and materials related to that week. So I just get it one and done, completely out of the way. So I got back so late, I'm not gonna be running tonight. I'm just going to sleep and try to wake up early, see if I can do some more studying before the reviews tomorrow morning. They're supposed to be going on for like four hours, so it's something pretty ridiculous. So gotta get mentally prepared and arrested for that. So see you guys for another day of studying tomorrow. Yeah, so I was not able to wake up early whatsoever. My eyes are still a little bit bloodshot because I'm so tired. So I'm just gonna head over to school, just sit down, try to sit with my friends and just relax because I have a long day of studying ahead of me, but I have a lot of energy. I'm well rested, I'm not gonna be tired, so I'm thankful for that. I am so close to the finish line and then after this, I finally get to see my family for the first time in like four, four or five months. Oh my god. I have a lot to work for, I have a goal, and I'll make sure I reach it. Yo, 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 what's up guys? So, ooh. All right, so I've taken quite a big intermission from that four hour review session we had this morning. I'm all relaxed, clean, 
and just in the right mindset to go ahead and tackle some more material, I am going to be exam status ready by the end of tonight. I will not go to sleep until I am ready to take the test tonight. I am very excited. I am extremely positive. I have a bunch of energy, so let's go. Six lectures, week two, two hours. Let's do it. Yes. Let's do it with these boys. Right Hair is getting long, it's so soft. So I just got back from the library and I almost finished going over all of week two in its entirety. I went very slow, but extremely in depth and very methodically. I went over all of my handouts that I made and went over all the slides of the week, including the team-based learning activities and some of the case conferences. I'm actually going to finish up some of the case conferences right now because it's the only thing separating me from completely closing the books on week two. I'm a little tired, but I'd rather finish something than leave it undone before I go to sleep. I know it'll just make me feel so much better and know that there's one less thing on my to-do list. And I don't know, it's not really draining to be studying at the library for such long hours whenever you're with a group of people that are also studying and slaving away with you. Do not struggle alone, like it is, makes it so much better. It is so comforting whenever you get to share the burden with other classmates. They know what you're going through and you can just bounce questions off of each other and really increase your competence and confidence level. So anyways, gonna finish up week two, go to sleep and repeat the cycle all over again until Friday and absolutely kick back relax and enjoy the fruits of my labor. Good morning you guys. So I've been up for about an hour now and it's 9.30 so it's pretty late and all I've been doing is wasting time on social media. This is exactly why whenever I study I stay away from being in my apartment. Productivity and being home does not mix for me. Not at all. It's pretty boring. <laughs> I don't know what else to show you guys. So I'm sorry, but all I'm doing is studying <laughs> and eating and sleeping and just repeating the cycle. Sorry that it's boring, but <laughs> you can double speed it. <laughs> for me, I have to live in this. So just reflect on that. Put a face on it. Yeah. Yeah. I have to memorize two things. Yeah. No. But it works. It doesn't work. Yo, look at this down light on my face. It is not flattering. Anyways, I finished going over week three in its entirety. And so that means I have officially gone over each of the four weeks. That means that my current status is technically exam ready. That's an accomplishment in itself and I still have two full days of studying ahead of me so I feel like I'm in a good position but still my confidence level is just, I don't know, it, it feels so weird. Looking at some of this material I felt like I was learning it for the very first time like it was something new and in reality a lot of this information they didn't teach to us directly in our lecture so it's very annoying that we have to go over it and really teach ourselves and that's how it's been throughout the majority of this module. Aiming for the A has to go over everything. Like histology, there are easily over 400 slides of different types of histology, 
pathology, from different diseases, all this stuff. And with each disease, we need to know risk factors, staging, grading, what makes the prognosis good, bad, etc., etc., etc. There's just so much cytogenetics. Man, and I know that they're not going to ask these questions, but I'm so freaking anal. I'll go through and I'll memorize each one of those insignificant details. It's ridiculous, but it's just hardwired into me. Besides that, I am cooking some food right now because I am officially all out of my frozen meals and I need to make sure I stick to my diet. And it's getting so, so difficult for me. I went to Walmart to buy some stuff for cooking and it was so hard, literally all I went there to buy was cilantro. Freaking 38 cents, that's it, that's the only reason I went there. And I walked through the aisles and I looked at all the cookies, all the freaking food, all the frozen food. I want pizza so bad, I want to eat just regular ass food, but I know I can't and I know I'll feel more guilty if I give in to my desires, so I'm just gonna sleep and I'm gonna dream about eating a spicy chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A with waffle fries and that Chick-fil-A sauce that is so, so good. It is my guilty pleasure. So anyways, tomorrow, same thing all over again. And I'm not gonna lie, my resilience is starting to dwindle, but I know Friday after I take the test, I am going to go to Six Flags, I'm gonna hang out with friends, eat out, eat some regular food, and so I know I have a big prize waiting for me at the end of this long dark tunnel. So, just need to... I just need to keep looking forward and just push through. It's tough, I'll tell you. Medical school, it's not extremely difficult. It's not extremely easy either. It's, it's a sacrifice is what it is. If you want to accomplish something great, and if you really want to appreciate it, you need to sacrifice something or else it will mean nothing. So that's what this is to me. That's what it is with my diet. I'm sacrificing a baser pleasure of just relaxation and comfort for something higher, something greater. Service, position, money, whatever, whatever you want, whatever it is. <sighs> it isn't easy. Ah. Okay, anyways, I'm starting to get all emotional, freaking thinking about random stuff, I don't know. Good night, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good morning. I woke up super late today and I got so lazy. I, I hardly wanted to cook my rice and beans, but I went ahead and did it. But with the chicken, there's no hope. That would take me about three hours to prepare, cook, and pack up. So do not have the time for that. So I'm going to be eating at Chipotle today, going to be giving myself a break. I didn't want to exercise, but if I'm gonna eat out, I have to exercise. And gotta do the mother. Gotta hit legs. Is struvite all urease positive or just proteus? Urease positive. Okay. But proteus is like your most common or like your most... Staghorn is specific? That's also... No, that's also oh, all urease. Yeah. yeah. Both of those, yeah. What is struvite actually? <laughs> yeah, ammonium. Yeah. Is that just name the name of what the ammonium is? The triple. Yeah, it's not. Okay, okay. Short, short. Short hand version. Not at all. I'd rather see the... Alright, alright, alright. Right, right, right. Hey, y'all. So it's Thursday, last day before the exam, and I'm feeling extremely, extremely lazy. Yesterday, all I did was questions, about four hours of that, and I don't know, I find doing questions really fun, especially if you get quite a few right. 
because it's just a confidence boost and it just feels like you're playing a game of trivia and it feels like you're solving a mystery. So I'm probably gonna do more of that today. Definitely gonna cook up my chicken and I'm going to quiz all of my friends about the things that I think are high yield and important. And then I'm gonna try to sleep early today because tomorrow, big day of celebration and you really get to put to the test what I have learned and I really slacked off the first two weeks of this module so hopefully my really hard work and dedication at the end will pay off and I would still be able to salvage my grade man this week has flown by time flies when you're busy and when you're having fun been having a little bit of both this week so yeah I'm thankful oh yeah I learned about this like in histology, like in college. Don't understand anything about that. It's basically like, so... I don't know, I'm feeling kind of iffy. I'm a little nervous, but at the same time, I'm having that exact same feeling where I just don't want to study. I don't have any real urgency to act or do anything. I, I don't know what to do. I, I hate it when this happens. Um, I feel like I know all the material already, so I just don't know what to go over, and it just freaks me out. I don't know, if you can relate with this feeling, hopefully I'm not alone, like, let me know. I just don't feel any pressure to study or to do anything. But regardless of that, I'm still gonna force myself to study, even if it's a little bit, not super intense, but I have to do something because this is the final stretch, and this is when the final push really counts. I'm gonna go do some cardio to really relieve the stress because I didn't exercise today. So that's also adding to my stress levels. So I'm gonna make sure I do that to try to just relax, calm down, take a shower, and just try to sleep early. Okay, so this by far has to be one of my favorite places to study because whenever I study on my bed, I will inevitably fall asleep, get distracted. I have my phone right here, iPad, and I'm going to be on social media like crazy, so hopefully this will help me relax a little bit. We'll see if I get any <laughs> histology done, any schoolwork, we'll see. I made another wonder list with about six more things that I want to do, theoretically, but in reality, I'll probably just go through half of it. I'll probably do three things. I need to stop worrying about what tomorrow is gonna bring. All I can do is prepare for this exam, and I might have gone a little overboard with the studying, but whatever tomorrow brings, I'll know that I put my 100% best and everything into this, and that there was nothing else that I could do, and regardless, I will be satisfied and know that I learned and really internalized this information. What's always scary with putting so much work into something is that your expectations are set really high. So whenever you don't meet those expectations, it can be very devastating for you. So hopefully my work in equals my work out and maybe a little bit extra <laughs> just for kicks. Yeah, that's all you can wish for. And I'm not going to fail out, so I can only be so greedy with my grades and things like that. But whatever, who knows? I don't even know what specialty I want to do, so I might not even have to study and kill myself so hard, but I don't know. It's my nature. So, I'll do it regardless. <laughs> I just wanna dive in water Oh baby, we can't see the bar <laughs> Good morning, fellas! So this is what it all boils down to. All my hard work, all of my slaving away, all this one morning. 100 questions, 2 minutes per question, that is, <laughs> shoot, that is 200 minutes, that is 3 hours and 20 minutes. Let's try to aim for 2.5 hours and we'll see how the rest of it goes. Again, have to dedicate each exam to something above just yourself, so this one is for Colombia again, but specifically for James Rodriguez as he faces his old club Real Madrid in the Champions League semifinals. I hope he gives a 
ese calvo what he deserves. And you know what? I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna have fun answering these questions. Make sure I read everything and go nice and slow and have absolutely no regrets. It's such a blessing and sometimes a curse that time just keeps moving on regardless of what is going on in your life or anything because now this test, even if I don't feel prepared or not, is gonna be behind me and that's a blessing in and of itself. So let's go to campus. Let's smash this test and let's absolutely relax and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Miles, oh my god. Last one, last one. Dude, there is no way. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't plan it. I'm stressed. It's like, you gotta do this. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah. Oh, Alright, guys. So, I am officially done. It feels so good to not have that burden of studying on me and I just got to relax, ate a huge, huge pizza and man, I had been dreaming about pizza for the longest time so I was so glad that we actually went to this place. I wasn't expecting it and best of all, I still have leftovers. I'm gonna eat me this huge pizza. I like eating it cold, like room temperature. Oh. Man, screw the abs, screw the diet. I'm eating more than once today. And I went to Sam's just to get these nuts because you know what? I like me some carbs. I like my fats. Sometimes you just gotta treat yourself, enjoy your guilty pleasures, and be happy. Because I worked my butt off this week and I deserve to spoil myself. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I suggest you guys do it too. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy mine. <laughs> Obviously, not gonna think about school at all. Actually gonna take Monday also. Probably won't study until Tuesday. <laughs> That'll throw me back on the next one, but it doesn't matter. So I'll check back in with you guys once I get my exam scores, which will be in like three seconds. So see y'all in the future. Greetings from the future, my dudes. You know what that means. That means your boy just got his exam scores. Alright, so let me lay it down on you. Every time the exam scores come out, they send out an email, and one of my friends, somebody that's close to me in my vicinity, always spreads the word and says, oh my goodness guys, the exam score is out, and just panic just ensues immediately. And then I have to make the decision. Do I really want to check my score right now, in the middle of the day? If it's a bad score, it's just gonna ruin my day. I'm gonna be sad and depressed and not be able to function. But on the other hand, if I don't look at it, I'm gonna be anxious. I'm gonna keep thinking, man, what if I got a good grade? What if I got a bad grade? I'm gonna be going crazy in my mind. I'm not gonna be able to stay focused because my mind is completely elsewhere. So I usually tend to fall towards looking at my grade just immediately and just get it done and out of the way. Just tear it off like a band-aid or something. So I logged into Canvas and I pull up the grade sheet and my heart is just pounding so hard in my chest I literally feel like it's gonna pop out. But anyway, as soon as that pops up and loads, oh my goodness, pure ecstasy. I get up immediately, I run away, and I call my family on the phone, and I of course have to share and brag to them and make sure that they tell me how proud they are of me so that they will fund me and hopefully decrease the amount of loans I have to take out. So, you guys are watching, please give me presents and money. <laughs> All right, so I wasn't able to keep my original promise from this previous video. I'm gonna make sure that I don't miss another damn question in this whole module. But on this exam, I was so, so painfully close to missing less questions on the exam than I did on the first quiz of the renal module. And man, I wanted it so, so bad. It was so painful. 
whenever you're just so close to something and you just don't actually achieve it. And I swear, I'd probably be more happy and more thankful to get a low A because at least with that, I'll be like, man, good thing I didn't miss any more because that, that could buff me out of getting an A. Whenever you're close to perfection, it just hurts even more. It's like those little stings, these little jabs that just get at you and you just get so angry at yourself for making such small and stupid mistakes. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that experiences this. So let me know that I'm not alone in this feeling because honestly, I think scoring high but not perfect feels worse than scoring semi-low on the high scale, if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> I, I think I just confused myself. But anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you could relate to anything in this video, make sure to leave a comment down below. And if you're new around here, please subscribe. And as always, do whatever the hell you want to do. Whatever makes you happy. But I hope I see you in another video. Peace out, guys.